Hey designers, I'm going to show you how to publish your Articulate Rise projects so that you can host them on Google Cloud Storage or another web hosting of your choice. It's actually a teeny bit tricky, but once you know how to do it, you'll know forever. So I'll, I will show you how right now. I've got this demo project I created in Rise. All you're gonna do is go to publish and you're gonna publish for web. Now the tricky part here, I'll tell you while it's publishing, is that this is going to, let me save this someplace else. Um, this is going to save it as a zipped folder. I'll show you what that looks like here. All right, so see that dot zip extension? Uh, pull that up here. All right, so, Okay, you can see my project here, staying healthy in the heat. You see that .zip extension, and you see that little tiny icon right there. If you look at it really closely, it's actually a little zipper. Um, the short history of this is that um, computers used to have much more limited hard drive space and memory, so you could zip projects together, which would make the folder a much smaller file size. We don't do a whole lot of zipping these days. Um, it's also a good way to actually send files to other people. If uh, you need to email something, it wouldn't fit by email. You could zip a folder so it's much smaller. But in any case, long story short, what you have to do is unzip this folder before you upload it to Google Cloud Storage. If you upload the zip folder, it's not going to work. So Mac makes it really easy. If you double click on it, I'm on a MacBook right now. That's it. It creates something new called content too. I'm going to change that name to staying healthy in the heat, whatever. Okay. Um, if you are on a Windows computer, let me show you. Uh, you can actually see it here. This is my Windows on Mac. I'm using Parallels to run Windows. You can see the zip folder here. It's a similar icon. You see that little zip thing here. If you hover over it, you see it says zipped folder, compressed folder. Uh, what you do here is you right click on it and you click extract all. And you can leave that check show, show extracted files when complete. It'll just extract it to the same place the folder already is unless you choose to put it someplace else. And now you can see um, it made a folder called content, which is, you know, very descriptive. So once again, I'd change that to staying healthy in the heat, whatever. And then once you click into it, you can see all of the folders, subfolders here, as well as the files. So now that it's unzipped, we can upload it to Google Cloud Storage. I will do that using my Mac side here. Um, it's just like uploading a storyline project. If you've done that before, you can just go to upload folder, for instance, we'll pop over to my articulate projects folder. Here it is here. Make sure you don't upload that zipped version. I'm going to upload the unzipped folder. Go ahead and upload. It's a pretty small project. So it doesn't have too much in it. Okay. So that is all done. Now you can see, where is it uploaded to? Here it is. It's down here below, staying healthy in the heat. And the link that you want to share is the index.html link. This is different from Storyline. So you want to copy this public URL. It should say public URL. If it doesn't say public URL, there's a problem with your bucket and you need to fix the permissions. But copy this, and this is the link you want to share out. Let's go ahead and test it in an incognito window, which is always good practice, making sure others can access it. Um, here we go. Start course and click through the whole thing. We're good to go. So that's all there is to it. So that was your mini history lesson about zipped folders. Just make sure you unzip it first. It's pretty easy. And then upload that unzipped folder to Google Cloud Storage.